maybe not even just to kind of hit somebody that's not on your own team for a little while. You know, after a long summer, it's, it's going to be a great feeling this Saturday to let it rip against somebody who's not us. You know, different team, you know, guys you don't see every day. A lot of continuity on this year's offensive line from a year ago. Just how that helped you guys? Oh, tremendously. You know, offensive line is one of those positions where you have to have full trust in the guy behind you, the guy next to you. Because a lot of our plays, you know, you don't always see what's going on. You have to trust the guy next to you that he knows what he's doing. This is one of those tough games that happens every year. You know, people expect you to beat this team. But what's your mentality going into a game against this team? So we approach every game the same way. You know, you have to come out on Tuesday and Wednesday and work hard. You know, you have to treat every game as if it's, you know, a national title game. You know, Duquesne's no, you know, pushover team. You know, they, they've showed in years past, that, you know, they can come back and play against good teams and beat good teams. So we approach it just like any other game. Defensively, you know, their defensive lines, a bunch of bigger guys, stronger guys, um, linebackers, you know, we're familiar with them. One, you know, former YSU linebacker, another one's a former YSU linebacker's little brother, so we're expecting similar things out of him. So we think it'll just be a good matchup for us. For fans, what do you think will kind of stand out this year about this group? Is there something that, you know, may open some eyes this year from this group? I think this year is just going to be a culmination of the past three years. You know, we've had some, you know, rough two seasons in the past, but this year will kind of be that year where you see the growth from those two seasons and then this team really just getting on the field and showing that we can play good football in this conference. Does this feel like a deeper team this year than in years past? Oh, absolutely. I mean, depth in the locker room, you know, depth on the line, you know, a tighter team, you know, we talked about brotherhood a lot. You know, this is just a totally different team from years past. Thank you, Chance. Good to go. Yep. Light bulbs up. All right. We'll take questions for Chance. I think same thing last night. Just how excited are you to kind of get going here and finally get the chance to touch somebody, hit somebody that's not on your team? Oh man, I can't wait. Um, it's been a long process. We've been working really hard throughout the winter and fall camp, so I just can't wait to go out there and show what we can do. Um, they love to establish the running game, so we got to shut that down. And they like to get rid of the ball quick, so we got to make sure we're getting our hands up on the D-line and uh, our sound and coverage. This is one of those games always you know, early in the schedule that you know, fans anticipate you're going to win. How tough is that to like game plan for, for you know, an opponent that people just assume you're going to be? Um, I don't think it's tough at all. I think as long as we prepare the way we want to, and the way we know how, there's no pressure on us. We just go out, have fun, and do what we know we can do. You were part of a lot of teams. What's different between this team and the last several you've been on? Um, I'd say just the camaraderie. Um, just I feel a different type of brotherhood. I feel a lot of unselfishness. And all our attention is just focused on going out and getting some wins this year. What do you think will be different from a, from a fan standpoint? You know, is, there, is there a part of this, this team that's just going to shock some people this year? Um, I would just say our physicality on defense. Um, coach has been mentioning to us how much we need to improve, and I think we will. And I think a lot of people will be surprised at the way we play up front and just as a defense as a whole, how violent we will be and how much effort we'll play with. Great. Beautiful. Good. Great right. job, James. Thanks. Thanks. Perfect Appreciate it. Right. We'll go ahead and take a play. Coach, how excited are you just to finally get going here? This is what you work for. You know, you get 11 guaranteed football games. You work all year for those 11 guaranteed. So, you know, you can't take it for granted. You know, when we came in Sunday practice, this is why we put the time in in the off season. This is why we put the time in in the summertime, you know, to play this season. And so don't take it for granted. And then stay focused. You know, the one thing you got to make sure when you're preparing teams is, you know, what type of mindset are they going into the game? And, you know, for us, our mindset always has to be is focus on the day, win the day. Did we win Tuesday's practice? Now we got to come back and we got to win Wednesday's practice. So that's going to be, you know, our mantra all year is focus on the day and focus on winning that day. Every week, I know you want to get better. You preach that over the last few, few years. But week one is critical in that you want to make a statement, not just to your own You know, I want them to see the effort and the work that our young men have put in the past seven months. 
Uh, they, they've had to learn some tough lessons the last two seasons. And, you know, for me, I get excited because, you know, get to see our young men play. And, you know, as a coach, you want to make sure you put them in the best situation you can. Did we prepare strength-wise, conditioning-wise? Did we prepare making sure that they understand every situation, that we can play fast? You know, for us, we want to make sure that we represent the Valley, we represent Youngstown. So on the field, you know, I want to play with physicality. I want to play with grit. I want to be able to have mental toughness that deals with the highs and lows of a football game. So when we get to the game on Saturday, we're preparing for a 60-plus minute game, four quarters. You know, we're playing a team that played week zero. You know, you make your greatest strides as a team between game one and game two. Well, we haven't had game one yet. They have. They've gone down to Florida State just like they did last year. They went down to TCU. And then they come back the next week and drive down to Athens, Ohio, and beat a very it beat a good Ohio University football team. So they've been here before. They know it. You know, they're going to be a lot better this week than they were last week. But we got to focus in our, on ourselves and making sure we're fundamentally sound this Saturday. What jumps out about this team? You know, again, I think they're well coached. Coach Schmidt's been doing it. He's built this program. You look at the last six to eight years, they win seven or eight games a year. Uh, so they're used to these type of travels. They're Like I said, they're used to going – you know, down to Texas, they're used to going down to Tallahassee and coming back and playing a game the next week. Shoot, they're going to Hawaii, you know. But, you know, it's a, they're very well coached. Our kids know that, very well coached. You know, fun, fundamentally sound. They, they're they just like us. They pick up some good transfers that can help them. Their quarterback is smart, heady, can throw the football, uh, has great pocket awareness. And, you know, they established a running game, and they do a great job in, in the run game. So... And then their safeties, you know, I, I really like the Joseph young man at safety. And number nine, their defensive end, uh, uh, Todd Hill, what, what a great motor, great player. When you look at a guy like that playing and he just goes hard each and every day, you know, our kids better be ready for a 60-plus minute game. You know, I think we've made huge growth, you know, and we needed to. I mean, we weren't very good defensively. We haven't earned anybody's respect, uh, you know, on the field. So, for us, I think we need to take huge jumps defensively and, and stopping the run and scoring defense, you know, offensively. Yeah, we could run the ball last year, but could we pass the football? So, you know, for us to be able to go on the field and get an evaluation against an opponent, that's what I want to see. I want to see we focused in on those things in the spring. Where are we right now? And I think this team each week, you know, you talk about the fans, I think you're going to see this team get better as the season goes because we still got some young guys, you know, Demetri Crenshaw, is starting his, you know, second year as a redshirt sophomore. So you're going to see growth in those areas, and that's why I'm excited to see us see us growth. And you know, this week, this Saturday, we got to be a lot better than we were the the past couple weeks in practice. Have you seen that with Demetri? You know, going from year one to year two, he had such a great season mm -hmm. last year. But he won't sneak up on anybody this year. People know who he is and what he's capable of. Yeah, he knows. He knows. You know, he goes, "Gosh, I don't know how I played." You know, the 10 games last year with what I know now. You know, and sometimes when you throw people in games before they're ready, you know, we, we got some good young quarterbacks now. You know, I hope I don't have to play them for two years. And in those two years, they're learning and getting ready. Uh, we have some offensive linemen. We had to throw them into the fire before they had to. Now we got three offensive linemen, or threes, who they're going to be very good football players for us, but I don't have to throw them in the fire. So, you know, those guys had to learn the hard way. They had to take, you know, some shots to the chin, get knocked down, get picked up. But now they've had that off season to prepare. And, and I think they're anxious to see how they do this Saturday, knowing that they had all that time to prepare for it.